A researcher plans to identify each participant in a certain medical experiment with a code. Okay, so we are trying to identify each participant with a code. So you want to assign a code to every participant. Okay, so the code consisting of either a single letter or a pair of distinct letters. So, okay, so I can have a code A, B, C. So these are distinct codes or I can have a pair of distinct letters. Okay, so the letters cannot be same. Written in alphabetical order and they also need to be written in alphabetical order and it's a pair. So the code consists of two distinct letters. So the code can be AB. So the code cannot be AA or BB because these are not distinct letters. And can the code be BA? It cannot be because they are not written in the alphabetical order. Okay, so the codes can be A, B, B, C or I think A, C also because these are also in the alphabetical order. What is the least number of letters? Okay, you want to calculate the least number of letters that can be used if there are 12 participants and each participant is to receive a different code. So we want to assign codes to 12 participants. So we need to generate 12 codes essentially. Now, since the number is pretty small, I'll actually directly start thinking in terms of how many letters I need rather than thinking of a pattern, general pattern for n participant. So if I have just one letter, I can generate just one code A. If I have two letters, A and B, how many codes can I generate? I can generate A, B and AB also. Can it be BA? No, it can't be because they are, they are not in the alphabetical order. So if I have three, then I can have A, B, C, A, B, B, C, C, A. So I have six here. So no, I need 12. Let's try four. I may be able to get 12. Let's see A, B, C, D first of all. Then A, B, A, C, A, D, B, C, B, D and C, D. So the way I've generated these codes is A, B, then A, C, then A, D. So A is consumed now, right? Then B, C and B, D. So B is consumed now. Then the only code remaining is C, D. So how many codes do I have? Oh, I still have just 10 codes. I still need to get 12 codes. I know that if I have five letters, I'm going to get many more than 12 codes. I actually have probably more than 15 codes or so. I am not sure, but I can be sure it's going to be 12 or more. So the answer has to be, I need at least five letters to generate 12 distinct codes. So that is the answer. Now, if you want to think in terms of general end participants, so let's say the question is, we have n participants. How many minimum number of letters do we need to generate n codes for n participants? So let's say the number of letters is x. Okay, so we have x letters. Now we can generate codes in two ways by using the letters individually. In that case, we'll be able to generate x codes because x letters and each code and each code corresponding to each of the letters. And then another way to generate the codes is by using two of the letters at a time. And the two letters need to be distinct and they need to be written in alphabetical order. Now the way to generate a code consisting of two distinct letters is that you have two places here. For the first place, you have X options. You can have any of the letters. Now for the second place, you have X minus one options. Right, so the number of codes is x into x minus 1. But in this case, it may or may not follow the alphabetical order. Right, because it could be BA also. Now we want to eliminate all of those cases. Now we have to think a bit. How do we eliminate those cases in which this pair doesn't follow the alphabetical order? Now if you think about it, for every two letters, let's say AB, we are going to generate two codes 
A B and B A also because the only focus here was to create codes using two distinct letters. Right. Similarly for C A also we'll have C A and A C. But we know that for every such two pairs, only one code is valid. Right. So out of every two codes, only one code is valid. So to get the number of valid codes we have, we need to divide this number by two. So these are this is the number of valid codes, two digit codes or two letter codes that we can generate out of these X letters. So the total number of codes that we can generate out of X letters is X, X into X minus one by two. And if we have N participant, this has to be greater than N. Now you can use this formula here, but I think since the number was pretty small, you need not get into this general formula. We can just directly see the pattern and see how many letters we are going to need. Okay, does that make sense? If you have any questions, please feel free to ask.